guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. How are you all doing out there? So, uh, got a really neat car here at the shop today. A 1990 Volkswagen Corrado G60. Now, uh, back in the day when I was a kid, I, uh, I remember the, uh, the Volkswagen Scirocco's. And just thinking that was kind of a neat looking, you know, car back in the day. But, uh, when that model line ended they replaced it with the Corrado here which is basically the same car um, what this car was supposed to be was to fill in the gap that the Porsche 944 was created um, or created the Porsche 944 was actually designed by Volkswagen to be Volkswagen's sports car and uh, Porsche ended up using that car taking that car and then Volkswagen still wanted their sports car so they came out with the Sirocco and then we ended up the evolution of the way it goes ended up with the uh, the Corrado's here um, this is actually a really neat one kind of a little bit of a rarer one being the G60 this is a supercharged 1.8 liter five-speed car and uh, really neat cars let's uh, take a quick look under the hood now let's get in the interior first and we'll take a look under the hood. First thing you'll notice, anybody remembers these stupid stranglers? Oh, I hate those things. But uh, yeah, this is a 1990 with 90,000 original miles and it's in, uh, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, looks like that's the worst of the interior there, but still holds up well. The layout, the design, the, the fabrics used kind of really look, uh, look like something, something a lot newer than 1990. But uh, yeah, you get your your typical Volkswagen gauge layout. Uh, one thing, these old Volkswagens, uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna do the old uh, key in the ignition. Now uh, these have a unique uh, door chime. This bong that goes off. I was hoping it would do it for us. But anyways, let's uh, pop the hood and take a look at this supercharged Volkswagen engine. You guys hold this hood for a second while I grab the prop rod. So there it is, the old uh, 1.8 Volkswagen engine it's putting just about everything. But here is the uh, the G later supercharger. Name that because it's the internal passages, the uh, where the the uh, veins of the supercharger run looks like a G so that's where the G60 comes from and I believe the 60 has got something else to do with the supercharger probably should have done a little more research but I just didn't have the time to really look up a lot of specs on this car other than uh, than horsepower um, the unsupercharged version of this car puts out about 130 and the supercharger adds about 30 more horsepower not not a ton of power for this car they're not really powerhouses at all um, kind of disappointing actually uh, with the, you know the red badging you would think you would have at least you know 200 horsepower out of a supercharged engine but not in this case not in this case so anyway let's uh let's take a drive in this thing see how it is to drive and uh see if it feels like 1990 Volkswagen all over again oh we can hear that uh the door chime I was talking about That brings me right back to the late 80s, early 90s, hearing that. <coughs> ah, so doesn't that. God, what a horrible idea. What horrible idea these were. So, uh, nice layout. Everything's in nice reach. Headlight switch, radio controls, nice manual heater controls. I hate, uh, I hate European automatic heater controls. That's up nice got a little bit of a loud exhaust on it it's got an aftermarket muffler or some nonsense like that so uh, not really very free revving I'm gonna keep the revs low cause she's an old girl all right so the car weighs about 2700 pounds or so about 160 horsepower so it's not going to be much faster than than your average stock Honda Accord or something 
shift's a bit notchy. I don't know if that's just from age or you know, these were a little loose back in the day. Kind of a complicated uh, shift quadrant used on these transmissions. Lasts a long time, it just feels a little loose. Steering input's really quick. Really quick. This has uh, upgraded brakes with uh, drilled rotors. Didn't feel like there's very much power assist to though. Feel really rock hard pedal. It might just be a an issue with this car. Now for some reason we're doing 25 in a 40 mile an hour zone. Grandpa in front of us must uh, know something I don't, but whatever, whatever. Setting the pace for safety. A little more body roll than I would expect in a, a car this small. But a little more weight than I would expect in a car this small too. Almost 3,000 pounds, 160 horsepower. Takes a little bit to get up to speed. Another neat design aspect on these cars is the uh, they have a rear spoiler mounted to the deck lid that uh, raises up at a certain speed and it's actually raised up right now I'm seeing it come up and down it's kind of cool pretty decent driving car for its age 1990 90,000 miles not a lot of miles for a car like this oh that uh Exhaust drives me a little nuts hearing that rattling. Let's see how it takes this sharp right hairpin. Not bad, not bad. definitely feels like 160 horsepower so the reason this vehicle is in the shop for me to look at it it uh it kills its battery something about it drains its battery it's got a uh, an aftermarket old school clifford alarm in it which uh when you shut the car off flashes constantly i'm wondering if uh if that's draining the battery or something staying on we have to do a battery draw test and get to the bottom of that uh it's also in for uh Radio doesn't work. Radio doesn't work. fun car to drive and it's definitely one of those love it or hate it cars the Sirocco and the Corrado some people love them to death some people can't stand them I'd have to say I'm right in the middle take it or leave it it is what it is it's a fun looking car it's a fun driving car it's not very fast it probably gets really good gas mileage even by today's standards so anyways guys I gotta get this thing in get the electrical issues figured out on this thing and uh, until next time guys keep it out of the cabbage <laughs>